Hi, today we're taking a look in, inside the FN R8 SCAR factory. This is aerospace grade 7075 T6 aluminum the raw material for the iconic monolithic upper receiver. This extrusion process is the first step in creating the monolithic SCAR-H receiver, seen here glowing hot as it emerges from the die. This sterile facility is where the legendary SCAR-H begins, crafted from a solid block of aerospace-grade aluminum. Here, the high-speed carbide cutter carves the precise teeth of the Picatinny rail from aerospace aluminum. The CNC machine the five-axis CNC mill precisely rotates the monolithic extrusion of aerospace aluminum, utilizing... Deep with within the monolithic receiver, lever, a high-speed carbide end mill car... The coordinate measuring machine uses a synthetic ruby probe to verify the exact tolerances of the 6061 T6 aluminum. In the sterile polymer wing, high impact flat dark earth pellets cascade towards the injection molding system, ready to form the weapon's lower receiver. Inside the heart of the machine, superheated glass fiber polymer flows like lava under immense pressure. Captured in stunning 8K, the molten nylon begins its transformation as temperature gradients reveal the hardening structure of the SCAR-H receiver. Utilizing a stainless steel scalpel, the technician meticulously removes the excess flash ensuring a flawless finish for the SCAR-H component. This intricate process highlights the modular design, as the fire control group is precisely seated into the polymer lower receiver. The intricate hammer assembly, coated in lubricant, is precisely seated within the polymer fire control housing, showcasing the modular design. This macro shot highlights the satisfying mechanical marriage as the intricate steel trigger module is carefully seated within the FDE polymer lower receiver. This is the first stage of creating the SCAR-H barrel deep hole drilling into 4150 chromoly steel. This is cold hammer forging at its most brutal. Four massive hammers shape the ordnance steel, imprinting the persist rifling grooves. To create the scar H barrel, the steel blank is cold hammer forged, violently deforming over a tungsten carbide mandrel. Captured in hyper-realistic 8K, the tungsten carbide mandrel withdraws, unveiling a breathtakingly flawless, mirror-polished interior surface. This footage reveals the violent elegance of the CNC lathe as it carves the critical gas block journal from the cold hammer-forged steel.
Here, the cold hammer forged steel Scar H barrel undergoes electrochemical purification. The caustic solution causes a This macro shot captures the electrochemical genesis of the SCAR H. Submerged in the anodizing tank, the hot nickel acetate solution causes the microscopic pores of the aluminum to swell and close, finalizing the flat dark earth coating. The hard coat anodizing process transforms the raw alloy into the iconic flat dark earth. The manganese phosphate bath creates a crystalline layer, transitioning the steel to a rugged matte finish essential for durability and oil retention. This is the critical moment of fusion. The extruded aluminum upper receiver connects with the fiber reinforced polymer lower, creating the authentic modular weapon system. A precise application of synthetic grease ensures smooth operation between the hard coat anodized upper and the fiber reinforced polymer lower, a dismechanical union. The matte black steel pin slides through the perfectly aligned components, securing the FDE aluminum upper to the polymer frame. Utilizing surgical precision, the multi-lugged bolt head is guided into the carrier. The final... With surgical precision, the cold hammer forged barrel is seated into the monolithic aluminum chassis. The final takedown pin secures the monolithic aluminum upper to the reinforced polymer lower, a testament to cold hammer forged engineering. <laughs>